Hi, self-awareness. I am your host, Rose, and this is a part two, Yes, You Can. And we ended part one about going through the darkness to get to the light. So the darkness is not a bad thing. And I will go deeper into it at another time on um, a different show because a lot of people are very confused about the meaning of darkness. And I just want to remind you, and you know, this verse in the Bible, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. You got to remember that. The creator within, not anybody out there. I mean, the universe do send people to assist us, to help us through the process. But if we don't do the inner work, nothing going to really change, and if they do, it'll be temporary because it's about purging all of the negativity, all of uh, the past life stuff, not just this life, that we keep carrying over and over, and they call it karma. And you can transmute karma. I don't care. <laughs> how bad of a person you may have been. So don't let somebody tell you you can't, you could. And I want to explain to people, I'm not here to convert anyone. I'm just a messenger. And all I can do is plant seeds. You have to grow them. You have to do your study, research, and you meditate, and you see what resonates and works for you. That, that's, that's it. Based on all of my experience, this is what I have learned because I went everywhere looking for answers, but I was looking in all the wrong places. But when I was diagnosed with an incurable disease and got the book, The Key to Yourself. That's when I realized, after reading that book for about a year, it's about me going within myself. So this is what we're going to talk about because we've been mind control for generation and generation and generation. And... They keep coming up with different techniques, but it's the same method. So I want to talk about a lot of these um, charities. These, I mean, they got so many foundation agencies, um, nonprofit organizations, and this all supposed to be there to help us with whatever we're dealing with, especially in the medical field. And this is what is so painful. People are not doing what they know they need to do. And that's when it takes courage to face yourself. I'm not talking about anybody else because there's so many phony people out there. So if you phony, they're just mirroring it back. It's okay, you know. But you have to think out of the box. You have to do your research. And one thing, I get a lot of people calling because they heard, you know, the process I went through with healing. And you know I don't take none of their shots and they're coming up with new, I mean, vaccination for just about anything you can think of. 
and I was at the health food store, because this is November the 31st, 2018. Last week, I was at the health food store, and the lady who owned the shop, she was saying when she saw the commercial about the, uh, the vaccination that we, as parents, should have gotten our children another shot, and if they turn out with the cancer, because we didn't no, so they got these children doing this advertising to make parents feel guilty and to run and give them these shots. And I mean, they got a shot for a whooping cough now, another type of flu shot for senior citizen. Why? And these so-called charities, but they call me. Oh, don't you want to donate to help the, the, the women with breast cancer? I say, why don't you all deal with the corporations that are producing a lot of the food with the bad chemicals in it and the products that we use in our household that contributing to the cancer? You know they hang up on me. So what is the real purpose? Money? That's what this is about? And people just donate, donate, because they play on your emotion to feel guilty. Oh, it could be me. Oh, it could be my child. And nobody is holding anybody responsible for taking care of their own body. Because I had learned, because I was there, and if I take care of this body, it will take care of me. I changed my diet. And I never felt so healthy. And you know by now, I'm almost 70 years old. And still can ride, bike, roller skate, uh, you know, dance. I'll dance all my children. And my oldest son is 52 years old. <laughs> so stop buying into the matrix lies. And these corporation, and they know. They know the answers. Oh, we're going to find a cure. They've been looking for a cure ever since I was a little child. I never heard so many people people with cancer like it is today, where all the technology they claim they have to prevent these things. Why is it so much illnesses, so much cancer? And they're talking about they're looking for a cure. Now, this book, The Ray Diet, I have the DVD. And these are doctors from different states. And some of them had diabetes, cancer, whatever. And this is why they did the DVD and wrote this book. These are doctors that was caught up in that bogus medical field that they're not in anymore. And they heal themselves. And they talk about dealing with the emotions because we hold a lot of suppressed emotion that turns into illness and pain. And they talk about the importance of eating a healthy, organic diet. And some of the clips that they showed how they treat these animals, whoo! And the fear in these animals when they kill them. Why do you think we so fearful? And when I was young, I used to hear people say, you are what you eat. And I'm like, OK, I'm eating pork, but I'm not a pig. <laughs> I'm eating chicken, but I'm not a chicken. They didn't explain what that meant. Maybe they didn't know, because we 
say things because we hear other people say it and nobody question it, nobody research it. But everything that that animal consume, we consume it. And the way they treat them and kill them, all of that fear, we consume it too. And this is what people are not, but you will love to get this DVD because it, it really shows you the whole truth. And this is a little book, Think Yourself Well. Think yourself well. You got the power and you can do that. And this is why I have over 4,000 books. I love this type of information. I don't care about Beyonce and Jay-Z and all of these celebrity and athletes. I'm, that's don't interest me. So, and another great book my son bought me maybe 10 years ago or 12 years ago, Africa Holistic Health. And his name is Dr. La Africa. This is a great, great book. And she ex he explains, just like Jewel Pookland, who was a GYN doctor, that she gave up because she said they're killing you and she don't want to, no parts of it because she don't want the karma to come back to her. So she gave it up. She's all holistic and she have great clips on YouTube explaining how the body works, how the mind works, what affects your, your body, how, everything. How the, the eight circle of the brain that people don't even know. People don't even know they're multidimensional. They think, I'm just here. No, you're not. But you got to open up your mind. You got to come out of this false matrix. And like David Icke says, it's all an illusion. Create one that you want. Happy, healthy, abundant, joy. Come on. But we allow them to feed off of us. And when we come together and march for these charity, these courses, all we're doing is expanding that whole cancer, whatever it is, you're feeding it because it's all energy. And that's what you're focusing on. Why don't they have big organization that focus on getting people together, on preventing, teaching people how to eat properly, how to release stress, how to meditate, how to take care of this body and stop eating all of this crap, these big corporations. And they funding a lot of these charities. The people who creating the products that's causing it. And people, oh, I want to put on a pink ribbon. Do you know what that's really about? And people feel or think they're doing the right thing and something good. Because when I was diagnosed with psychosis in 19, what, 19, 1987, one of the doctors, he asked me what I'd be willing to go on lectures with the doctors. They was going to use me as an example. I had uh, uh, psychosis in my lungs and my skin, so I had sores all over. And I got kind of happy. I said, me? He said, yes. And, and I only wanted and got excited because I wanted to feel important. I wanted attention. 
And when I got home, it just didn't feel right. And I said, okay, creator, something is not right. And the doctor never called me. And I am so happy. I because I would have been promoting more illness to these people, because they say it was incurable. I cured it. And you know how many other people have cured themselves? Not in remission, because that's another thing. They told me 20 years ago, oh, the lungs don't look like you had anything, but you're in remission. I say the creator I believe in do not do anything halfway. So you got to be very careful what you are standing up for, what are you giving your energy to. You really have to uh, think about this. And there's a clip that's coming up at the end of this that really break down 10 of the most worst charity that people are constantly sending money to and marching for. And they think they're doing something good to help somebody. I never seen so many sick people in my life. And in my neighborhood, children, two years old, they got reading, not reading glasses, just regular glasses, just to see. Two years old, three, five, six, all of them. I used to see only people 50 or 60 back in the day with glasses, regular glasses. I'm not talking about reading glasses, just glasses to see. We're talking about really babies. Well, and you don't think something is wrong here with the system? It's about money and energy. Just like today, November 31st, people believe in, in Halloween, and they don't even know the real satanic ritual that this is about. And I used to be part of it, because I, I was still asleep and in the program box. And when I learned the truth, I was blown away. And just to think about it, we're supposed to be God-loving people, and we celebrate a holiday with blood and killing and, and heads cut off and costume with all this madness. And then we giving out all of this bad candy to these children. And we wonder why they grow up and don't have no teeth. And trick or treat. When my daughter and my um, goddaughter took me to Salem, Massachusetts, we spent a day there, and I learned a lot. They really explained to us the whole concept of the true Halloween and what this system turned it into and why. It was mind-blowing. That's why I say you got to come out of your box. You got to experiment different things. You got to uh, talk to different people, go different places, have different experience, so you can know for yourself, not what Miss Rose said or anybody else said, what are your higher self saying to you? Because everything you need to know, you already know. You just forgot. So this is what this is all about. And they got this book, well, you can see, I had it must be over 20 years, How to Heal with Colors, Ted Anderson. And he wrote this book, too, how to connect, you know, to your past life. But you can heal yourself with colors. Why are they not teaching that? And there's so many different things that we can do that can help ourselves. Someone sent me this maybe, maybe 12 years ago. 
vaccination report, learn what the doctors are not telling you. And this is like maybe 15 pages. It will blow your mind what they not telling you about these vaccination shots, any of them. Because you know I don't take them. I haven't taken a flu shot in over 30 years once I woke up and never had the flu since. I don't even get a cold. And they got people so programmed if they sneeze right away, oh, you're catching a cold. That's the body natural way of purging something that's not supposed to be there, even a cough. But they got people so programmed and we all automatic. Oh, she's sneezing. Oh, you're going to get a cold. And this is a book here. And it's called Miracle Medicine Food. You can hear yourself eating the proper food. And Deepak Chopra, when he was on Oprah over 30 years ago, and I bought this book, Ageless Body and Timeless Mind. Great book. And it's all about you and the power that you have to change your life. Yes, you can. And this is another thing you need to really focus on because people are too caught up with labels and titles and they have to know everything and they need to be right. And I have a book say, title is, Nobody Should Know Your Body Better Than You. And I believe it. And I want you to stay tuned and listen to the clip and go and do your own research because the information is out there. Thank you. The creator in me greets the creator in you. Thank you. The top 10 nonprofit organizations that are secretly corrupt. Number 10. American Association of State Troopers According to this organization's mission statement, the American Association of State Troopers was formed to provide benefits for trooper members as well as their families. From 2004 to 2011, the organization raised nearly $45 million and spent less than $4 million on member benefits. In addition, the nonprofit has been fined five times by regulators and paid out $300,000 in fines. Number 9. Cancer Fund of America the Cancer Fund of America claims to be on the front lines of the fight against cancer. However, it does not spend a dime to fund research or pay for the cancer treatment of victims and their families that are struggling to survive. Over the last decade, fundraisers have collected over $98 million in donations, while patients have gotten less than $1 million in direct cash aid. Number 8. Children's Wish Foundation International the mission of this organization is to bring magic, joy, and hope to seriously ill children and their families around the world. However, the nonprofit has gotten into serious hot water five times in four different states. Children's Wish spends only about 10% of its funds helping fulfill the wishes of dying children. They have paid out $61.2 million to its solicitors, while the founder takes home an annual salary of more than $250,000. Number 7. Breast Cancer Relief Foundation According to reports, its founder, Donald G. Tarver, had already been accused of diverting too high a percentage of funds to a for-profit solicitor at a previous non-profit organization. Nothing would change when he formed his new charity, Breast Cancer Relief Foundation. According to the IRS, it has been one of the nation's most wasteful charities. While raising more than $64 million, victims of breast cancer receive just over 2% of the total funds raised. Number 6. Firefighters Charitable Foundation this organization has a notorious group of solicitors that have been tremendously successful, raising $64 million in just a nine-year span. Like so many others in this video, the organization pays its for-profit solicitors the lion's share, accounting for 90% of total funds. It got so bad that the organization's president, Louis Pellico, resigned, citing difficulty reducing fundraising costs. Number 5. Children's Cancer Fund of America not surprisingly, the Children's Cancer Fund of America is run by an associate of Cancer Fund of America, see entry 10. 
Records show that since the organization's inception, it has raised nearly $38 million and let professional fundraisers keep nearly 78%. Cancer victims have only received around $300,000 per year. Number 4. Project Cure in Bradenton, Florida Project Cure exists as a non-profit, but its office is nothing more than a storage unit. Located in Tampa, the small office is filled with nothing but plastic bins and unused furniture. Despite this, the organization has managed to raise nearly $65 million since 1998. The organization's purpose is supposed to be educational, and yet its efforts consist of websites that do not even contain original content. Project Cure's president is paid about $200,000 per year, with nearly 90% of all donations going to fundraising expenses. Number 3. Women to Women Breast Cancer Foundation What might have started as a genuine attempt to help promote breast cancer awareness turned into a money-making operation when Jacqueline Gray and her family agreed to pay 90% of its funds to a telemarketing business. In return, the company would take the lion's share of the donations. Women to Women raised $14.5 million in donations from 2009 to 2011, while during that time they only paid out $20,000 annually. Number 2. National Veterans Service Fund the organization states that its mission is to educate and inform the public about the needs for veterans and their families. They also claim to help in providing limited assistance, relief, and referrals to appropriate agencies. In reality, the organization does very little to help veterans, with more than 80% of funds going to solicitors. Number 1. Kids Wish Network the most secretly corrupt charity on our list goes to the Kids Wish Network. While the organization sounds like the Make a Wish Foundation, the Kids Wish Network has a very different agenda. Every year, the nonprofit raises millions of dollars in donations in the name of dying children and their families. However, Kids Wish Network spends less than three cents on the dollar.